human activities have been dependent on fossil fuel. Fossil fuel was produced and accumulated through Earth's history over billions of years. We are now using up these fuels at a furious pace. The amount of fossil fuel remaining is expected to decrease sharply after 2020. It was once assumed that fossil fuel would run out by 2100. However, due to the shale gas revolution, this depletion will be delayed 100 years. Progress in medical technology and the intake of nutritious meals has caused explosive population growth. As a result, serious food shortages will occur around 2020. These will mark the beginning of the era of 3 billion refugees. However, the world's population is expected to decrease to 5 billion by 2100, after peaking at 10 billion in 2050. Until 2050, the increasing population will continue to cause serious environmental contamination. Numerous global challenges will amplify the anxiety within human societies. What does the future of human beings hold? In the field of science, Innovative technologies will be developed at an accelerated pace. Humans will build a space base on the moon to prepare for exploration of our solar system's planets. Artificially intelligent robots will be involved in space exploration, assisting humans in their tasks. In the near future, self-replicating robots will appear and will evolve beyond humans' limits. These artificial life forms will gradually travel out into the galaxy. Moreover, new technology enabling us to go into different dimensions will be developed. Humans must become able to recognize the world beyond space and time. Eventually, the role of human beings will be finished. That will be the end of the Humanozoic era. This scenario may be the inevitable result of the strategy of life's evolution. Because in the future, the Earth will face more upheavals than ever before in its history. Centering on Asia, all continents will gather to form the supercontinent Amasia. Plants consume atmospheric CO2 to fix carbon in their bodies. Dead plants made of fixed carbon are covered by sediment. This process plays a role in reducing atmospheric CO2. The appearance of the supercontinent Amasia will lead to an increase in the land area that can fix carbon. More plants on a larger supercontinent reduce more atmospheric CO2. The amount of CO2 will decrease to one-tenth of the present level. The C4 plants, requiring higher concentrations of CO2, will go extinct. As a result, other animals that rely on the C4 plants for food will be affected. Seawater has been decreasing for the past 600 million years as it has been transported into the mantle in the form of hydrous minerals. Finally, mid-oceanic ridges form summits above the seawater. Water cannot be taken into the crust as a lubricant anymore and plate tectonics is terminated. This is the fate of a cooling planet.
volcanic activity along the subduction zone stops. Upheaval of the mountains stops. The Earth suffers severe environmental changes due to erosion. Subducted cold plates do not go down to the bottom of the mantle. The outer core is not cooled down anymore, and the geomagnetic field disappears. Earth's atmosphere is removed by the solar wind. At this point in time, large multicellular animals living in the surface environment go extinct. When the ocean disappears, animals that survived in the ocean will also die. Finally, all the Earth's life disappears. The heating up of the solar surface increases the Earth's surface temperature to 500 degrees Celsius. The Earth becomes a Venus-like planet. The Andromeda galaxy collides with our Milky Way galaxy. Because of this collision, the birth rate of stars increases. With time, those stars undergo supernova explosions. Intense galactic cosmic rays rain on the Earth. The expanding sun will swallow the Earth. This is the day when the planet Earth that gave birth to life will disappear from the universe. By that time, the Earth's life will have reached other galaxies as self-replicating artificial life in a different form.